So get this. A team of geologists is out in the middle of a Mississippi creek doing some totally normal mapping work when they find something insane. Sticking out of the mud is a single massive bone the size of a grown man's fist. At first, they literally have no idea what they're looking at. It's so big they think it might be a piece of junk, some old farm equipment. They had no idea this one single fossil was about to unlock the story of one of the biggest predators to ever live, a real-life sea monster. Okay, so the story starts near Starkville, Mississippi. Geologists James Starnes, Jonathan Leard, and Tim Palmer are doing the slow, careful work of making a 3D map of the area's geology. They're studying rock layers from the very end of the Age of Dinosaurs, a layer paleontologists go crazy for called the Prairie Bluff Formation, and the way they found it was a complete accident. One of the geologists, Jonathan Leard, had lost some old seashells he'd collected. As the team was looking around for these missing shells, James Starnes spots it, this bizarre, huge, round shape sticking out of the creek bed. Leard said, When we found the fossil, only the ball was exposed. They carefully dug the thing out. It wasn't a rock. It definitely wasn't machinery. It was a bone, a vertebra from a spine, and its size was just nuts. We're talking over seven inches across. They passed it around, totally stunned by how heavy and huge it was. They knew this wasn't just any fossil. This was something massive. The team immediately realized they had to get it to the experts at the Mississippi Museum of Natural Science, where paleontologists would confirm what they had just found. It was a piece of what is believed to be a Mosasaurus hoffmanni, one of the largest predators to ever swim in the ocean. So how can just one bone from a spine tell you you found a colossal sea monster? Think of it like a puzzle piece. A vertebra is a core part of the skeleton, and its size gives you a massive clue about the size of the whole animal. By comparing this 7-inch wide vertebra to more complete mosasaur skeletons, paleontologists could make a pretty good guess at the animal's total size. And the conclusion was mind-blowing. The creature this one bone belonged to was estimated to be at least 30 to 40 feet long. But because they only have a single bone, that's a conservative guess, and there's still some uncertainty. Some older estimates for the biggest Mosasaurus Hoffmanni suggest they could have potentially reached lengths over 50 feet and weighed around 10 tons. To put that in perspective, that's as long as a school bus. It's a predator that was similar in length to a smaller humpback whale, but much lighter. As geologist James Starnes said, This is a true, true sea monster. This was bigger than most dinosaurs walking around on land. That single chunk of bone, found by pure luck, confirmed that a true giant, an absolute apex predator, was patrolling the waters of ancient North America. Now that we have an idea of the insane size, that one bone lets us build a picture of the rest of the animal, and it is terrifying. This is the T-Rex of the deep. Now, Mosasaurus hoffmanni wasn't a dinosaur. It was a type of extinct aquatic lizard, closely related to modern monitor lizards and snakes. But it was unlike anything alive today. It was built to be the ultimate killer in the ocean. Its body was long and streamlined for powerful swimming. And forget what you've seen in old drawings of them swimming like eels. Newer evidence shows they moved in a much more terrifying way. They had a huge crescent-shaped tail fluke, just like a shark. This means they didn't just slither through the water. They likely kept their bodies mostly stiff to cut down on drag and used that massive tail for explosive bursts of speed, letting them ambush prey with unbelievable force. Their four limbs had become paddle-like flippers, not for power, but for steering like the fins on a fighter jet. And then there was the head. A Mosasaur's skull was a weapon. It was armed with dozens of massive dagger-like teeth. These teeth were pointed slightly backward, making sure that once they bit into something, it wasn't escaping. Like snakes, Mosasaurs had a second set of teeth on the roof of their mouth, called pterygoid teeth. This nightmare feature helped them grip struggling prey and literally drag it down their throat. And if a tooth broke, no big deal. They could replace their teeth throughout their lives, making sure their weapons were always sharp. They also had incredibly flexible jaws that could open wide enough to swallow enormous prey whole. Their diet was anything they wanted. They ate fish, sharks, and seabirds, and fossil evidence even suggests they weren't above eating each other. This animal was at the absolute top of the food chain. This incredible monster didn't just live in an empty ocean. The Mississippi where this fossil was found looked nothing like it does today. 
Around 66 million years ago, a huge part of North America was split by a vast, warm sea. Mississippi was completely underwater, submerged under a shallow, tropical sea connected to the Gulf of Mexico. And this ocean was teeming with life and danger. The rock formation where the vertebra was found is filled with fossils of other animals that lived alongside the Mosasaur. The water was packed with giant sharks and huge predatory fish like Zyphactinus, which could grow up to 20 feet long. Flying reptiles called pterosaurs soared overhead. And this mosasaur wasn't the only marine reptile. Long-necked plesiosaurs were swimming around, too. This discovery in Starkville is so huge because it confirms that a top-tier mega-predator was living in this specific part of the world. It helps scientists build a more complete picture of this lost American ecosystem, showing just how competitive life was. The Mosasaurus Hoffmani was the undisputed king of this sea, a monster ruling over a world of other giants. It's insane to think that the ground under our feet, even in a quiet Mississippi town, holds the history of such an epic and alien world. Of course, for millions of people, the word Mosasaurus brings one image to mind, the shark-eating monster from the Jurassic World movies. Thanks to those movies, the Mosasaur is a superstar. But how does the real animal, like the one from Mississippi, stack up against the Hollywood version? First, the most obvious difference, size. The Jurassic World Mosasaur is just ridiculously huge, basically a kaiju. VFX artists have said the model was sometimes over 120 feet long, making it bigger than a blue whale. The real Mosasaurus Hoffmanni, while still massive at 40 to 50 feet, was less than half that size. Next, the design. The movie monster has big, crocodile-style armor plates down its back. But real skin fossils show mosasaurs had small, fine, snake-like scales, which would have made them much more streamlined for swimming. The film version also splashes around with its flippers for power. In reality, that powerful tail was the engine. The flippers were just for steering. But the movies did get a few things right. They correctly showed it as a crazy, powerful predator. And most importantly, they included that horrifying second set of teeth on the roof of its mouth, a real feature that makes it even more terrifying. So while the Jurassic World Mosasaur is a supersized work of fiction, its fame has brought a ton of attention to these amazing real-life animals, getting a whole new generation excited about the true sea monsters that once ruled our planet. For millions of years, Mosasaurus Hoffmani was the king, the undisputed ruler of the late Cretaceous seas. It was a true evolutionary success story, a lizard that went back to the water and became a monster. But its reign, just like the dinosaurs on land, was about to come to a sudden, catastrophic end. About 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid, estimated to be about 6 to 7 miles wide, slammed into the planet in what is now the Gulf of Mexico, not far from where this Mosasaur hunted. The impact from this Chicxulub asteroid was world-ending. It triggered global tsunamis and massive fires and threw a cloud of dust into the atmosphere that blocked out the sun. This caused a total collapse of ecosystems everywhere. In the oceans, the tiny organisms at the bottom of the food chain died off without sunlight. That set off a chain reaction of extinction, wiping out the creatures that the Mosasaur depended on. With its food source gone and unable to survive in a dying ocean, the mighty Mosasaurus, the T-Rex of the deep, vanished forever. Its dynasty ended not with a whimper, but with a bang that literally shook the world and closed the book on the age of reptiles. From a single, baseball-sized piece of bone found by accident in Mississippi mud, we've resurrected an entire lost world. The Starkville vertebra is more than a fossil. It's a direct link to a 40-foot-long sea monster and the terrifying ocean it ruled. It proves that one of the planet's greatest predators ever hunted right there, in what would one day become the United States. It's an incredible reminder that history isn't just in books. It's buried all around us, just waiting for a lucky break to bring it back into the light. Finds like this fire up our imagination and connect us to the epic, ancient story of our planet. Who knows what other monstrous secrets are still out there, waiting to be found. What's the most insane fact you learned about the real Mosasaurus? Let us know in the comments below. And for more unbelievable stories from the prehistoric world, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.